This episode was brought to you by Skillshare. The first thousand people to sign up using the link in the description will get their first two months free. There are many natural and human sources of carbon dioxide, or CO2 as it's better known. These include burning fossil fuels such as coal, natural gas, and oil. Other sources are decomposition, ocean release, and of course, all the breathing that people and animals do to stay alive. Fortunately, we have plant life that absorbs a lot of the CO2 and releases it back into the atmosphere as oxygen. Trees are the main workers in this process, and we can think of them like the lungs of the planet. But what if you woke up one day and opened the blinds and there was not a tree in sight? What would happen to the planet? That's what we intend to find out in this episode of The Infographic Show. Could humanity survive without trees? Before we answer this crazy question, let's first look at some of the cool stuff that trees do. 5. A mature tree can absorb roughly 48 pounds of CO2 a year, which is about the same weight as 10 standard bags of sugar that you might buy at your local market. Another way to look at this is that an acre of trees absorbs enough carbon dioxide in a year to equal the amount produced when you drive a car 26,000 miles. 4. Then there's the ozone. Ozone is a natural layer of gas in the upper atmosphere, which protects humans and other living things from harmful ultraviolet light. Trees help to reduce ozone levels in urban areas. As an example, in New York City, a 10% increase in urban canopy translated to a reduction of peak ozone levels by around 4 parts per billion. 3. Trees also absorb sound and reduce noise pollution. So if you live near a freeway or a railroad track, a group of trees is very useful to quiet down the noise and allow you to sleep more more easily. 2. Trees can help reduce air temperature by blocking sunlight. We've all experienced this when on a holiday and the sun is scorching. No better place to hide from the sun than in the shadow created by the canopy of a few palm trees. 1. When there's a big storm, trees help reduce runoff water, which in turn decreases soil erosion and the accumulation of sediments and potentially harmful chemicals transported to our streams. Ok, so there are a few major factors that make trees pretty darn important, and there are a whole lot more. But then we're not here just to discuss what trees do. We want to know what would happen if they all disappeared. There are approximately 3 trillion trees on planet Earth, according to Research Greats Crowther et al. 2015 Nature Report. And these trees cover 31% of the world's land surface. For a start, the planet would look very different if all the trees were gone. Humans are cutting a lot of trees down, but it would still take decades or even hundreds of years to remove every last one. But in our imaginary scenario, let's assume by some act of God, the whole lot disappeared overnight. What would happen? The main issue would be the huge reduction in oxygen levels in the atmosphere. Oxygen makes up roughly 21% of the Earth's atmosphere, and our bodies need it to survive because it makes up as much as 65% of the human body, and it's also responsible for 90% of the body's energy. People can live for about a month without food and a week without water, but only a few minutes without oxygen. Trees produce about half the oxygen in the atmosphere. They do this through photosynthesis, which allows plants to convert energy from sun into chemical energy and later release it as oxygen. The remainder is produced in the oceans and by microscopic marine organisms called phytoplankton. So the environment would still have oxygen mixed in with the air we breathe even if all the trees were gone. But would it be enough for humans to survive? It's not an easy question to answer as it takes a fair bit of guesswork, and many online experts have differing opinions. Opinions. Citable, a site that brings together information from a worldwide community of scientists, researchers, teachers, and students, has made the following calculations. If the ocean-dwelling phytoplankton provide us with half our required oxygen, then at current population levels we should be able to survive for at least 4,000 more years. So not bad, hey? However, there are many other factors to take into account, the main one being the increasing population size. Currently, there are 7.6 billion humans on the planet. The the human population is projected to reach 9.8 billion in 2050 and 11.2 billion by 2100. So it's really not easy to predict what would happen with all those additional humans breathing the available oxygen. But then 4,000 years is a long way off. You would hope that by then we would have colonized Mars and worked out numerous ways to create our own atmosphere without the need for trees. Who knows, we may even be living in a world more like Star Trek. But even if we were able to survive, surely there would be other other issues, right? Well, 
Yes. Apart from the fact that the world's landscape would look pretty bare, the smog would also be unbearable, and many people would probably be diagnosed with lung diseases. Trees act like a giant filter to help reduce pollution. Their leaves intercept airborne particles and carbon monoxide, sulfur, and other greenhouse gases, which are absorbed by the leaf stomata. According to research in 2016 referenced by the BBC, more than 5.5 million people worldwide are dying prematurely every year as a result of air pollution. Most of these deaths are occurring in the rapidly developing economies of China and India. So imagine what would happen if we went from the air filtering 3 trillion trees we have today to zero. Air pollution masks would become a necessity, and there would be a lucrative market in selling clean bottled air. As crazy as that might sound, selling bottled air is already a business. Vitality, a company based in Edmonton, Alberta, collects air from the Canadian Rockies and compresses it into containers. A single 8-liter bottle of compressed Canadian air, which comes with a specially designed spray cap and mask, holds around 160 breaths and costs $24 per bottle. Thankfully, we're not going to wake up tomorrow and find all the trees have disappeared. But how many are we actually culling each year? It's not easy to get an exact number as most of the deforestation values are measured in land area, not in the number of trees. But as a guide, intactforests.org concludes that intact forest landscapes from 2000 to 2013 were reduced globally by 70,000 square kilometers per year, which is about the size of Costa Rica. Over 13 years, that comes to a total of 919,000 square kilometers. In terms of the number of trees, density in primary forests varies from 50,000 to 100,000 trees per square kilometer, so that gives a number of around 3.5 billion to 7 billion trees cut down each year. It's not so many that will suffocate just yet, but we can see some forests are on their way out. Just what would a world without trees look like? Instead of just watching videos telling you what it might look like, why not make your own and show us instead? With over 24,000 online classes, Skillshare is your go-to for learning everything you need to know about making your own digital videos. With classes ranging from the basics of video animation to advanced After Effects and Photoshop tools, Skillshare has a class for all levels. Premium membership will give you unlimited access to topics that will improve your skills and in the process your life. The first thousand people to sign up by visiting Skillshare.com slash Infographics35 or by clicking the link in the description will receive two months of Skillshare absolutely free. Join Skillshare and start learning today. Should we slow down destroying the forests, or are we just worrying about nothing as the forests will all grow back? Let us know by commenting in the notes. Also, be sure to check out our other video, This is the Year the World Will End According to Isaac Newton. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Infographics Show. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.